job, we said yes. <laughs> it would be our pleasure. So I want to just recognize the Department of Public Works, Parks and Recreation, the Police Department, the Board of Mayor and Alderman, who all worked collectively to make sure that this happened and today happened. Um, I'm going to turn things over to Chris, who wants to say a few words. But before I do that, I have a note from my father-in-law, um, <laughs> Louis Craig, uh, who is in Florida, undoubtedly pushing people along on the golf course. Um, he wishes he could be here in person, but instead uh, sent this note. I regret that I cannot attend this important event. Knowing Tom King and being his sidekick for over 25 years, I know Tom would be proud to have a street named after him. Tom was appointed Chief of Police in 1975 and served until his retirement in 1991. During his tenure, I was proud to be appointed. I was proud he appointed me Deputy Chief in charge of the Administrative Division and that I had the opportunity to learn from and work closely with him. It's been many years since Tom died, but I often think of him. I can see his smiling face. I can hear his Irish wit and wisdom. Tom was a great Chief of Police. Tom was a wonderful father to his children. Tom was a proud Irishman, but most of all, Tom King was my friend. So um, we all love the King family and love your dad. Um, the Shamrock you know, will always remind us of him um, for my green coat. Yeah, did, did. <laughs> Mike still has a Shamrock on his green jacket, but um, congratulations. Dad, yeah. uh, thank you, Thanks, Joyce. Chris. Thank you very much, yeah. Joyce. Uh, thank you for. To, to Joyce for all of her efforts. As I know it's a collective effort, but it's okay. very, very kind. It's, in fact, beyond what we had anticipated um, and expected, So uh, and how quickly it moved. So it was an idea that generated my beautiful wife, Karen, who's here as well. Uh, just for, for transparency, we we've, not only are we connected to the Craig family, we're also connected to Joyce, uh, a, a lifelong friend from our childhood um, and from high school. Uh, but I'm also joined uh, by my brother, John King, um, who looks just like my father. For yeah. anyone, <laughs> if anybody remembers my father, <laughs> and my wonderful sister Linda King as well, and my brother Colin, who should be here. But, uh, God love him is like uh, it's a typical king. Yeah, he, so, he lives in, and yeah, the only one from Manchester, so we come from all over. <laughs> uh, so, um, but we wanted to say uh, thanks to, to Joyce, also also to Mr. Craig, and the, it's a, such a wonderful connection to Mike, uh, who we've known, and Mr. Craig. I was the youngest of the, of the seven children, so I actually, I, I guess, benefited in many ways because I was only 10 years old when my dad was chief, became chief, and then all the way uh, until he retired. Almost 16 years he was the chief of police, which I think now for our friends from the police department is a, a long time, right? For I think he was only the fifth chief in Manchester's history. Um, but the connection that we had to the Craig family, to Louis Craig, who I love very much, all my memories of my dad are not without Mr. Craig uh, being by his side or him stopping by the house uh, every day or every night uh, and saying, uh, saying hello. So we have a great, great connection. And I know uh, well, Mr. Craig can't be here, but I know that our dad is here as well. Um, maybe just say a, a few words about my dad as a police officer here, a, a city that he loved very much. And you know, this is a special spot because this is where he spent his time, where he trained and he talked about uh, uh, in a video that Joyce, I think, shared with us, which was his last roll call at the Manchester Police Department in 1991. And he spoke to uh, some of the officers there, and he spoke about the Alpha and the Omega, right, the beginning and his end, and, and how special this city was to him, and how special it was for him to be a police officer here, uh, to be able to walk the beat. He talked about in 1950, how uh, on the first day in the job, he would get a badge, he would get a gun, and he would get a felt hat. And then he walked for two weeks with the police officer, and it was only at the end of those two weeks did they feel that he was confident, or any officer was confident, that they gave him a uniform. And he talked at this time about how things had changed, so from 1950 to 1991, to where uh, it is all about the training. And uh, uh, it was such a kind of a, a journey for him personally, where, where he, the way that he started. Um, maybe one highlight is, you know, the accreditation, uh, getting the Manchester Police Department accredited. Um, my dad and Mr. Craig worked diligently to make that happen. And on that videotape, which Joyce shared with us from the 1991 last roll call, he, he left and he says, I believe that the Manchester Police Department is the best police department in the United States. It, and, and this is not hyperbole, this was something that was based off fact for him because he was very active in the, new, uh, in the National Chiefs of Police Association. He visited hundreds of police departments around the country. I believe 
we will, uh, I think the 200th, uh, major police of the 200th accredited police department in the United States. So very, very early adopter of all of these things uh, about community policing, brought community policing here to Manchester. Uh, but beyond all of his accolades of, uh, of his role as the as chief of police, he was uh, a person that cared about family, he cared about community, and he stressed that in his way that he was the chief of police. So I want to thank Joyce, I want to thank Michael, I want to thank Mrs. Craig as well uh, for the great connection to have us here today to, uh, to, to honor um, Tom King, a guy that was brought to the police department by the ear by our grandmother. He did not want to become a cop. <laughs> She told them, you gotta go down there, forget about your buddies, go in and become a police officer. And it was the greatest journey for him personally. And now we get to honor his legacy. So if I could just indulge you just one more time, I'd like to have my brother John say a few words. Uh, if that's okay, John. Yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not as wordy as you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, one thing I could say is uh, in the Jewish tradition, um, uh, a person dies twice. Uh, first, when they physically die. The second time is when um, the last last time someone says their name. Uh, that's the second time. It could be 50 years, 100 years, 400 years. But at least now we know that someone's going to take a left-hand turn, and they're going to say, "Take a left at Chief Tom King's uh, road." <laughs> so I want to thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, I also recognize my brother, my brother Colin, oh. uh, and, and my nephew uh, Max, who, who were here as well. Um, and a heartfelt thanks to, to everybody here uh, for this great honor. Joyce, thank you again. So, um, not sure what happens. <laughs> Anybody else want to say anything? Yes, or do it. Do you want to have them do the unveiling? Yeah. 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 That's great.